Hey you gang, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a further look into the new for 2022 Kia Sportage. And today's Kia Sportage is a hybrid model and it's got 226 horsepower. Now last time I had the Sportage out it was in black and I mentioned how nice it looked. Now today we've got a white Sportage and I've got to say this car looks even nicer. Now today's car isn't just a different engine, it's also a different trim level. This is the GT Line model which is one of the lower models and even as a more entry-level model it's still an absolutely gorgeous car Kia keep just knocking these cars out the park so you got the nice 18 inch alloys on this car you got privacy glass you got the nice black gloss trim down the side some nice black gloss trim on the back and again similar lights to the Kia EV6 this car really is stunning now this car comes with some conventional door handles which again, I quite like. And as you open the door, you're greeted by a quality, if not overly luxurious door card. Quite stylish too. You enter the car and you're greeted by these lovely seats, quite similar to that in the EV6. This is made of a suede material. And not only do they look nice, they're very comfy too. Now when you're sat down in your nice seat, you're greeted by this lovely D-shaped leather wrapped steering wheel. It's an absolute delight and you've got this lovely looking instrument cluster around here which again is one of the neatest I've seen. Um, very nice little instrument cluster there, not too much going on which is something I like personally. And then when you glance over to the left you're greeted by a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system which has got all the bits on there that you need. And as you move down you've got a very nice looking gloss black centre console, little cubby hole back there. Some nice trim at the side of the dash and another stylish looking door card. Now a neat feature this car has, which my son pointed out last time I drove the mild hybrid Sportage, is this little area here where you can keep things. There's a lot of space there, but if you do want to keep a drink, just press the button and it turns into a cup holder. Now when you open the rear door, once again you're greeted by a nice stylish door card. And you look inside and you find these lovely stylish seats again with some nice suede material. And as you enter the back of the car, as I do in all my reviews, we're going to look at the legroom in the back of the car. Uh, like I always say, I'm only 5 foot 7 and the front seat is adjusted accordingly. But, plenty of legroom back here. And again, it's very nice back here. No nice touches such as a USB port in the back of the passenger seat. Now another good thing about this car is that the boot is a really good size. Not the biggest boot I've ever seen in my life, but definitely a really good usable space in there. You've got plenty of cases in the back of that boot. Now this car, as mentioned, is a hybrid and it's got 226 horsepower and it's powered by a 1.6 litre turbocharged petrol engine and an electric motor. Now combined, that will launch the car from 0 to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds, which is a really good time for such a large heavy vehicle that can also return good fuel economy. So Kia claims this car can do up to 59 miles per gallon. Hmm, it seems like quite a tall order to me, but we're going to go for a good drive today. We're going to drive it sensibly around town and see what kind of fuel economy we can achieve. Because one thing I've learned since buying a hybrid myself is that it's not just about driving slowly, it's also about driving a bit like you're in the snow. So accelerate slowly, decelerate slowly, coast as much as you can, and that's how you're getting your best MPG. So this car comes with quite a bit of kit, even though it is basically a bottom of the range car. So for a start, you get the stylish 18-inch alloy wheels on the outside. You get the privacy glass. You get the 12.3-inch infotainment system. You get these lovely, lovely suede seats. You get the D-shaped leather-wrapped steering wheel. You get a good powertrain. It's a 1.6-litre turbocharged petrol engine made to electric motor, as already stated, with 226 horsepower. You get a 0-60 of 7.7 .7 seconds. You get a top speed of 120 miles an hour. It's a very nice-looking car. And to top it off, it comes in at a very reasonable £33,000. Now, £33,000 is a respectable price by itself, but bear in mind, Hyundai's Tucson, in a similar trim level, comes in at £2,000 more, and you don't get suede seats in the Hyundai. Mm. So now we're going to go for a drive, we're going to see what kind of fuel economy we can get out of this beast, and then after that we're going to have a little play, see what it's like to drive on some fun roads, and go from there. So what's the new for 2022 Kia Sportage like to drive? Well, it's quite a nice cushioned ride. Um, it's a little bit wallowy around corners, but it is a big, heavy car, and it's not particularly 
sporty despite the name suggesting otherwise but it is a nice composed calm ride now i've been driving around for the past 10 20 minutes in a very composed and restrained manner very composed and so far i've achieved 43 miles per gallon now i'm going to keep driving a little bit longer and drive as slow and as patiently as i possibly can and see what kind of fuel economy this car will really achieve and then after that we're going to go for a little bit of a sprint down our dual carriageway and see if it's quick and then maybe do a couple of twisty roads and see if it's fun now we've had a good drive this car today being sedate and being calm and trying to get some good fuel economy out of it well now we're gonna hit a dual carriageway in sport mode and see what it's like when you feel like having a bit of fun so go Woo! fuck it was nice so what do we think of this new for 2022 Kia Sportage hybrid GT line that's quite a mouthful well it's a very nice looking car with a very nice interior it's well priced it's got a reasonable level of trim it's plenty quick enough in sport mode um the only thing i'd say is the chassis and drivetrain can't quite cope with the power at times so going into a corner and putting your foot down in sport mode it gets very squirrely all of a sudden and the other thing I'd say as well is the fuel consumption isn't quite what I hoped it would be. I know it's a big car and it's quite a powerful car, but even still, you know, after doing 10 miles of real, real easy going driving, after a few miles on the motorway doing 68 miles an hour, after a few miles of driving a bit like an idiot, uh, we've come to average 36.4 miles per gallon, which isn't good enough to persuade me to buy one but if you're not that concerned by fuel economy this is an absolutely fantastic car now this car once again is from car and cab care and car and cab care are selling these exact kia sportage 2022 hybrid electric vehicle gt line that's a mouthful for a very reasonable 28 and a half thousand pounds that's an absolute bargain now if you enjoyed the video today guys you found it useful or found it entertaining or anything good at all please make sure you like and subscribe so just got back from an hour's drive and the car has averaged 39.2 miles per gallon which bearing in mind the size of the car and the performance of the car and the weight of the car that's not actually that bad hmm but still would i buy one i mean if it was in the market for a large suv I'd be very, very tempted at £33,000. Mm, even more tempted at £28,500 from Car and Cab Care. Mm, very tempted indeed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care.